JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for April the 15th. I am Haralamos Pissuros, head of research here at JFT, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar rebounded and outperformed all its other major peers on Thursday during the Asian session Friday. It gained the most versus CHF, the Euro and the Japanese Yen in that order. Now the weakening of the safe haven sprang and Yen suggests that the financial markets as a whole traded in, in a risk-on uh, manner, but the dollar's uh, search points otherwise. Thus, in order to get a clearer picture in, uh, with regards to that front, we prefer to turn our gaze uh, to the to the equity world. However, things uh, uh, things are mixed uh, there as well. European indices traded in the green, but Wall Street uh, slid, with Nasdaq losing the most, more than two percent. In Asia, among the indices under our radar, only China, Shanghai, and South Korea's um, uh, and South Korea's KOSPI were open and uh, both of them lost uh, some uh, some ground now in our view the rebound in the european uh, equities may have been the result of the ecb outcome while wall street wall street's uh, tumble may have been triggered by remarks uh, from new york fed uh, president john williams getting the ball rolling with the ecb interest rates uh, remained untouched as was widely anticipated with officials repeating that they will end their asked purchase program in the third quarter they avoided mentioning a precise schedule stressing the uncertainty surrounding the war in ukraine and instead said that they will maintain flexibility this disappointed those waiting for a firmer language and that's why we saw the euro starting in new leg uh, south now, at the press conference following the decision, ECB President Christine Lagarde said that the bank will only start raising rates some time after the end of the asset purchase program. It could be weeks or even several months, she added, remarks that intensified the selling in the common currency. Having said all that, though, later in the day, reports sitting uh, ECB sources uh, noted that um, Policymakers uh, still see a July, a July hike as possible and that uh, there is growing consensus for a 25 basis points hike in the third quarter. Now, in any case, we stick to our guns that uh, the path of least resistance for the euro is uh, to the downside, especially against the US dollar. The greenback got an extra boost yesterday after New York uh, Fed President John Williams said that uh, the Fed should reasonably consider raising rates by 50 basis points at the May meeting, another sign that even more cautious policymakers are in favor of larger liftoffs. With that in mind, even if the ECB decides to hike in the third quarter, there will still be divergence in the policy paths of those two banks and thus euro dollar may keep drifting uh, south. Another currency against which the euro could continue suffering is the British pound. Let's not forget that this currency strengthened uh, notably on Wednesday following the further acceleration in the UK CPIs, which implies that market participants anticipate an aggressive rate path by this bank as well, at least more aggressive than the, than the rate path of, um, of, uh, of the ECB. That's why we believe that euro sterling may continue trading uh, lower uh, as well, not only euro dollar. Now as uh, for uh, today's events, uh, today is Good Friday and most economies under our radar and thus we don't get any major data while most uh, stock, stock exchanges will be closed. 
The only release worth mentioning, uh, though not a major market mover, is uh, the US industrial production for March, with the month over month rate expected to have ticked down to 0.4% from 0.5%. Nothing major. So, that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So, goodbye, have a great day, a great weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again uh, next week. JFT, just fair and direct.